Hey everybody. So today I have something a little bit different for y'all. It's a product review. It's not my Brampton Gardner coffee cup, which it works amazing. It's perfect, thank you, Rochelle. So the people over at Smart Saker reached out and asked me if I'd like to do a product review um, of their cordless hedge trimmer. And I'm like, yes, I would love to do a product review. So this arrived in the mail a few days ago and uh, we're gonna open it up, see what it's all about. Okay, see what we have here, the packing material. over here all right so here's the box it's cordless hedge trimmer and glass shear nice so this includes two types of heads for lawn shears and hedge trimmers with quick switch design for easy head replacement the hedge trimmer is suitable for landscape shrub trimming while the lawn trimmer is especially suitable for stone paths corners and other places where ordinary lawnmowers can't hit. This handheld mini hedge trimmer weighs only one kilogram or 2.2 pounds, is easy to operate with one hand. Um, it is easy to use for women and the elderly and is suitable for long working hours. So let's open it up here, you can see. Let's see what we have, we have our instruction manual. We have the battery pack. 20 volt lithion battery. There, Saker. And it's got a um, right here where you can see the battery level. It's fully charged. They sent it to me fully charged. That's awesome. A uh, hedge trimmer blade. It's got this nice cover on it to protect your hands carefully. That is snug. There it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's sharp. That's Bella. Okay, this is the power cord charge. All right, so here's the main unit. It already has the grass clipper on it. There it is. It is lightweight, but you can move the handle depending on what angle works best for what you're doing. Oh, that's nice. It's ergonomic. So here's the safety button here. You're gonna have to push that up in order to press down on the, to start it. Always read your instruction manual before getting started. Um, what I like about this, we have some hedge trimmers, um, but they have a, they're, it's electric, but it has a cord. <laughs> and trying to climb over that cord, make sure the cord is not in the way while you're shearing and like cut the, it's a mess. Okay, let's change the head on this. So you're gonna press these two buttons here to release, give it a good squeeze. A little bit of issue, there we go, okay. Okay, I was trying to slide it. Let me try it again, if you push in, and lift up okay so it may seem hard to do pushing it in if you try to slide it don't try to slide it push it in and just lift up okay not that bad i'm just gonna put that on there and it should pop in okay there we go it's on there oh it has look at that it has an armrest thing so if you accidentally lose your grip it doesn't like fall and land on your foot okay, here we go pull it away from my face push this push this in and then press the trigger i think we're ready to go outside so this is a beautiful hedge of daruma lorapellum it's not quite the right time of year to give it like a hard haircut because we're supposed to reach 100 degrees today but i think a light shearing will be fine Usually my husband <laughs> does this job. I am not a professional hedge trimmer, so it may not look, we'll see how it looks when I'm done, okay? Okay, have my safety glasses. All right, wrist on, and we are working. Let's note we're working with a full battery. We have a full battery, all three lights are on. Okay, so push this in. 
Here we go. Nice. And I'm using a two hand grip just to guide it. Um, if you needed to, you could angle this like that and go this way with it. But I kind of like how I was doing it right here. This shrub is not very thick. Like the stem is pretty thin and it's cutting through it very easily. So far it's doing great. No resistance at all. The cuts are nice. It's a good clean cut. Beautiful cut right there. Let me keep going. Let me back up the camera so you can see and hopefully I don't butcher this poor thing. So I really like that this is lightweight enough that I can reach with one hand to get the back without my hand getting too tired. Normally, my husband would have to climb back behind that hedge in order to trim the back part. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't know what lives back there that has eight legs or no legs and slithers. I'm not getting back there. But I can reach with one hand and I can reach all the way to the other side and trim. That's awesome. <laughs> My husband mowed the lawn yesterday. He didn't edge around these stones. So let me rake up what I've trimmed and I've got my kneeling pad and let's put on the grass shears and let's do some grass shearing and clean up this edge right here. All right, so this is St. Augustine mostly. And as you can see, it's pretty tall right now. That's probably oh, almost three inches. This is what it looks like. It's almost like a, a centipede type grass. It has runners. So we're gonna trim this all along the edge here. Make it look nice and pretty. Okay, first of all, we're gonna switch out the blades. So press here, lift off, easy peasy. And then this is the grass shear. Press in and put, there's a hole, there's a post, put them together. There we go, done. Make sure it's on. butter that's perfect and these blades actually get up under the stone and I can go as low as I want I could scalp this grass if I wanted to all right let's go all the way down all right so the grass is cut very nicely very nice but see how the St. Augustine, it wants to climb. It wants to send those runners up and over. So what I have to do is, is get the blade a little bit under that stone and it should come off. See, so I can get real close to the stone without the blade jamming up. There we go. And I get that grass right out of there. That's awesome that it's so hot out here already it's crazy it's like nine in the morning I'm sweating 
Oh, and I'm so pleased with this job. All right, let me rake and sweep a little bit and I'll show you the final. I'm so pleased, so pleased. All right, so I think I may try it um, in other areas of the garden, see if it works. Um, God, I wanna try it on those vines on the fence. Hmm. cut through it like butter. Okay. Well, I'm even more pleasantly pleased. And I still have three bars on my battery. I haven't even used up hardly any of the battery life. Trimming that hedge there, edging the grass around it. Um, hmm, I wonder how long this thing will last. If you're interested in these amazing products, I need you to head over to smartsaker.com smartsaker.com and pick you up one of these bad boys. I'll put a link in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'm in love. I love this thing. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.